Have you ever heard that the science of global warming is settled, so there's no further need of discussion? The fact is, true science is settled on the issue, and it demolishes the claims of climate alarmists. But much of the media today only quotes fake science on this issue. Welcome to Wait Till You Hear This. I'm Steve Eastman. Dr. Bill Lynch really knows his stuff. He can talk for an hour on the thermodynamics of the atmosphere, which he recently did for an audience at the John Locke Foundation, a conservative and libertarian think tank in Raleigh, North Carolina. The MIT graduate doesn't let politics drive his research. He's more interested in letting the scientific facts speak for themselves. CO2 is a warming thing. It's just not as bad as you think. That's where I am. Did you hear that? Carbon dioxide is warming things. It's just not as bad as people think. Furthermore, Lynch says climate will never reach a runaway condition because nature has a way of evening things out. As he puts it, It's nature being making a perfect solution to a problem that I'll immediately explain to you. So what's the explanation? Well, here's part of it. Back in the 90s, They were saying the temperature was going to be 6 degrees. Well, no, obviously it was going to be horrible. You raise the CO2. <gasps> but that's not the way CO2 works. It doesn't keep absorbing linearly. That was the big mistake they made. And they never apologized, as far as I could tell. Lynch is critical of the work of another MIT graduate. Kevin Trenberth has published diagrams of atmospheric energy flows all over the Internet. Lynch says his fellow researcher is ignoring an important factor. He doesn't want to mention, apparently he didn't want to mention adiabat, not that he forgot about it. The adiabatic effect of 140 watts per square meter is not mentioned. He just throws it into here. Well, 140 watts went away. Instead of explaining the adiabatic effect, let's just say Trenberth is not laying all his cards on the table. We asked Lynch if rising temperatures in one place are being counterbalanced by falling temperatures in another. Temperature plots show that the average temperature, and this is like averaged over all seasons of the year for water and land at a given latitude, okay? So th those are the measurements that are used. So those measurements by this particular group show only small variations. Now, do you have... Uh... Any criticism for where the, the monitors are placed to take these statistics? For example, you said if they were all up in Pittsburgh, for example, it's a large population center, a lot of people using energy. If they took it out in the middle of the ocean, they wouldn't have that problem. So does there need to be improvement on where we place the thermometers? It probably does because nobody has written a paper that tells what they're doing. All we know is that they keep adjusting what their temperature is and they adjust the old data while they're at it. So it makes me very, very nervous. Dr. Bill Lynch is the author of Global Warming Temperatures and Projections, available at Amazon. Now, one more point, and this is from me since Dr. Lynch is politically neutral. I wish Al Gore had attended the meeting. He could have learned something and stopped worrying. This is Steve Eastman reporting from Raleigh for Wait Till You Hear This. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com.